Greetings everyone, Retro Indie Gamer here, and today I'm reviewing a game called Nintendo World Cup for the NES. Released in the US in 1990 by Technos Japan. As you can probably guess, it's a soccer game. In which you can, and let's see, sort of typical, typical NES stuff. I mean, here are different teams. Let's see, for a hell of it, I'll select USA. Or oh, like the music. First match, USA versus Cameroon. Transitions, no. I wouldn't leave them where they are. Oh, and keep note to the one with the eye next to it. Let's see, and let's see, change the strategy you'll use. Offensive strategy, use dribbles, with GK join in, I guess yes. Defensive tra strategy, try to tackle. So yes, frequently, yeah. So you have to set, be set the different things you can do in the game. For controlling your AI. Oh, I swear that for after a couple of stages, the AI starts acting like morons. But yeah, here we go. Oh, that's, oh, that's the awesome part of the game. You get to tackle your opponents. Now you might notice there's something a little familiar about this art style if you played a game called for an NES called River City Ransom. In fact, if you if you're familiar with the NES and River City Ransom in particular, you might notice that there's a lot there's a couple of games on the NES, a couple of sports games that which look very similar in style. There's three in particular that I'm referring to for NES. And so you might know which ones I'm talking about. Those three are this, Super Dodgeball, and Crash and Boys Street Challenge. And believe it or not, all three of those games are actually part of the same series as Reserve City Ransom. So each of the games do receive many changes. Oh, you die! Do receive did receive many changes in their when they were localized in the U.S. Heck, well, because in Japan they're part of a series that's in of games known as the Kunio Kun series, in which I think its most popular game in the U.S. was probably River, River City Ransom. And I assume that the person you're playing as is Kunio in Japan. Okay, you go around, try and, and yeah, this is a soccer game which you tackle your opponents. Yer! Close to them, press the B button to slide, or A to tackle, and you can crash into these guys. You also, and when you have the ball, you can press A to pass the ball, and B to shoot the ball. Oh, I hope you're. I hope your teammates aren't stupid enough to get in the way. <laughs> this game is a blast to play. Especially with the graphics, and then we see them beating each other up. And you see the graphics very similar to River Save Ransom. Ah, uh, caught. And one of the best things about this game, or one of the most interesting things, is that after a while, after you knock enough of the guys out, you'll see their bodies all over the floor. I mean, no, okay, not their bodies, you'll see them knocked out all over the field. Which is actually pretty comical. Hey! You! Hitting the goal. Ugh. Like that. If you might notice that the camera pretty much always follows the ball. Which I can understand, but you and you could but unlike other sports games I played, you could only you only control one guy in this game. And the controls are are handled very well. 
Yes, knock that guy out! Knock the goalie aside! Uh, you might notice that there's a mini-map of, of a screen of, of the soccer field at the bottom right corner of the screen. And whenever you press the control pad, the eye moves. That is your player. Just it all. Yeah, so yeah, interesting game. You get out of the way, you idiot! Mm. Because Amy be to do this sort of weird thing, then. Uh, yes, thank you for tackling that guy. You know, I'm sure one Nintendo's guidelines from back in the day when this was made violated one of their rules. If one of their guidelines was that you cannot, something about not showing physical violence in a sports game beyond what is apparent in actual contact sports. Um, I'm sure that tackling players and leaving, their, leaving them non-conscious in the field, I'm sure it does not happen in an actual soccer game. Okay, the fans probably do it, but not the actual players. Come think that there actually there actually were a couple of games for the NES that did, that did that in their sports games, which they they clearly got around Nintendo sensors. I mean, this is one of them I'm guessing, and another one is is our another one is probably Arch Rivals. <laughs> you idiot! Oh, you might notice in the bottom right, in the bottom left of the screen, that there is a, there is something, there is a, um, you can see um, portraits of the players every now and again. Never press the A or B button. Sometimes you can see, a, like, you can see you giving commands like pass. Then the guy says either he can or he can't. Same thing for ta for shoot, tackle, slide. Let's see, get the ball on the goal! You! I die! Time to tackle this guy. Ooh! Ew, ew. Tackle back. So yeah, you have some control of your team, but in depending on how you, s and that depends on what you set. Oh, sometimes the, the ball can do that. I'm not sure I do it. I'm sure if I got my hands on the controls, that could be explained. But yeah, one of the problems with these old games is that often, uh, 99 percent of the time, the games were separated from their manuals long ago. For, especially for cartridge games, for game for disc games because they're usually in the original boxes, not so much. But still, yeah. I already talked about this in a previous video, but yes. But it's it's incredibly common for these for a lot of cartridge games for their manuals to be separated from their from the games themselves. Chuckle that guy, chuckle that sucker! <laughs> or slide into him. That works too. <laughs> I just love their expressions. I mean, the graphics in this game are completely entertaining, and extremely cartoony, and completely comical. <laughs> it's definitely a shame more of these games didn't make it to the US. I mean, a lot of these made it to Japan. I, mean, I know a couple made it here. I mean, this one clearly did. Riverside Ransom did. The first game in the Kunikun series made it here. And there was a, one on the Game Boy that made it here, but it was using a completely different name from another of Technos of the series. So you probably know what series I'm referring to. 
the series that's basically the, at in which their earlier some of their earlier Kunio Kun, 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 Kun games, especially the first one, seems to be a really uh, primitive version of. Alright, the bone out the arena, you are you, you idiots! So yeah, it's a fun game. And again, most of the games in the Kunio Kun series are. Though sometimes your AI opponents can get a little confused, can get a little, a little stupid sometimes. I mean, sometimes, in, especially in the later stages. Ah, oh, half time! Yes, sometimes, especially in the later stages. That I swear, some of them are acting like it. Some of the AI guys act like idiots. Sometimes mark the opponent. Hey! Oh, that, okay, that was stupid of me. Tackle. Okay. Yeah, this this stage isn't too typical for me. Then again, it's only the first stage. Yeah. No. One thing in the lobby of NES games is, is that they start out easy, then their difficulty gets blown way out. Then their difficulty goes way over the top in later levels. That's insane. Uh, you just uh. are you, are you, are, is my AI turning to idiots already? You know, I want to end this match and show you a stage using one of the other using one of the other teams. After I even uh. let's see. Since this game is Japanese, I'll select the Japanese team, which I assume was the team original release. I mean, sometimes the changes to these games in North America was not always just graphics. A lot of times the storyline was changed as well, and other basic features in the game were changed. Yeah, you, it's it's the same team no matter you have the same team members no matter which version you have. And I think this is the same team from a lot of the Kunio Kun sports games. I think I've got to try to try to review some of the other ones. Especially the Japanese ones if I can find them. As some of these games like this are a blast! <laughs> uh, it's toy! Yeah, sorry, some of my insane random... Some of my um, comments I'm yelling at these games sometimes don't make sense. Oh yeah, that was awesome! Pass? Okay. Japan one, our country zero. And there's his body on there's the guy on the floor. You know, I think this game is actually one of the things this game is one, most no, well known for is seeing all those guys all, all over the all over the floor. And the expressions. Straight from River City Ransom.
Okay, that guy in sunglasses is awesome. We were in sunglasses on a soccer field. And them not getting destroyed, that's awesome too. Pass, I can't! <laughs> yeah, he just threw the ball at me. Okay, shoot the ball. Maybe just so I, cause maybe so I can get angry while my <laughs> I hit the guy with the ball. Yeah, that went way out. Why do you guys kick the thing out of the arena? I swear, some of these guys are stupid like that. Tackle the guy! Tackle that guy! Ah, sun guy with sunglasses, you failed me. <laughs> guy with the, um, who looks like Iron Man, you win. <laughs> Oh, come on, uh, alright man, but it looks like some sort of robot mask thing. Okay, goalie, let's help you guys don't get stupid enough and leave the, um, arena and, and leave your goal open like you do in later rounds, like you do in, in later rounds. Uh, why did I- uh, That was stupid. Okay, you guys got the ball, go throw it back into the arena. <laughs> toward the tackle the guy. Hey, don't hit don't hit your team, Captain. You morons! You guys aren't supposed to come the morons till the later stages. Yeah, there's interesting thing how some different countries are represented here. That's one way to jump, jump. What the hell was that? <laughs> See, I'm running circles around the sky. Start from the corner, then. <laughs> ah, right into the guy! And he caught the ball! Oh, darn it. Tackle a guy, tackle a guy. Oh. Let's see. I might have a better chance from up here. Don't get away, you idiots! Don't, get them, don't stand there when I'm throwing the ball in your direction. You were catch the ball or get out of the way, you morons. <laughs> Oh, come on! That's one way to knock him out, using the soccer ball. <laughs> knock the goalie aside, then hit the ball in. Okay, that didn't work this time. You know, I think it's almost time to wrap this review up. So yeah, Nintendo World Cup, great game, and I highly recommend. Uh, and I highly recommend it.
This game gets a... I, I, score, I think I'll give this game an 8 out of 10. This game rocks! If you have an NES, get this game. And if it's been released on other platforms, I'm not sure if it has or not, or at least in the US, try and get on those platforms. Then again, the NES one is pretty common and pretty cheap. Let's see. Oh, you! Yeah. Okay, that's the end of this. Until next time, everyone.